Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am just sitting outside enjoying the nature of this world that God's created for us. And I wanted to read out of this book. It's called New Life in Christ. And this is by Billy Graham. He like created this book and it says what really happens when you're born again and why it matters. So this is just about Christ and the uh, beginning of the new life for him. So we're going to read in this section, in section seven today of this book. And it's called Starting Over. Starting Over. So I'm just going to read this and I just want you to sit and listen and just think about this while I'm reading it today because I think it will really help you today. And with whatever that you're going through, just to hear a little bit about the Lord and about what I want to share with y'all today. And remember, this day today is not about, it's not about me. It's about Jesus and it's about y'all because I want y'all to hear about Jesus. Not about really what I have to say, like what about Jesus? Because this book is about him, not about what I have to say. It's about him. This is what I'm reading with his perspective. So the section is called Starting Over. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? He cannot enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born, can he? John 3, 4. Have you ever been told that you have been wrong about something you have believed your whole life? Consider how stunned you would feel after being told that you have wasted valuable time and energy making strides in the wrong direction. Think about the painful realization of being informed that, to this point, you have accomplished nothing. What would it be like to have nothing to show for all your efforts? And think about what that really would be like. How would it be like to have nothing to show for your efforts? This is how investors feel when they have poured their hardened money into a company that unexpectedly goes bankrupt. After years of putting capital into the enterprise, they have no profits to show for it, only losses. This is how a wife feels after she gives herself to her husband for many years and then painfully suffers the rejection of seeing him walk away from the marriage. After much sacrifice, she has nothing to show for it except abandonment. How does such a person start over with her life? Nicodemus found himself at a similar crossroad after, his, after this self-righteous ruler was told by Jesus that he must be born again. In other words, he must completely start over with God. And when God's saying that Nicodemus has to be born again, that, that means that he has to start over with God because apparently he's not like doing the right thing. All his years of strict religious living profited him nothing towards the entrance into the kingdom of God. All his good works and respectful morality resulted in no standing of acceptance with God. He would have to renounce everything he thought would command, commend him to God. Nicodemus must accept this assessment by Jesus that he had misspent his entire life in pursuing that which would gain him nothing. His religious efforts, spiritual activities, moral pursuits, everything he attempted left him spiritually, spiritually pain, spiritually pain. He would have to concede that he was wrong all alone and shallow his pride. That is a bitter pill to swallow. So what he means by that is Nicodemus had to realize that he has to start over with God and that he has to concede that he was wrong all alone and we don't like being wrong because I don't like being wrong and I'm pretty sure you don't like being wrong either but sometimes in your life you have to be told that you're wrong and it's sometimes hard to take that well but we all have to really try to because God's going to tell us sometimes that we have to start over and maybe one day he'll tell us that we need to be born again and we have to be prepared. A stunning message, an honest response. At this very same point, Nicodemus asked a crucial question. How can I have this new start with God? There was an intense struggle in his soul to grapple with the thrust Jesus presented him. 
This religious leader has heard that unless he is born again, he cannot even see the kingdom of heaven, much less enter it. The critical question rose immediately to the surface of his mind and came out of his mouth. How is this even possible? How can I have to start with God? How can I have this new life? The stunning message of the new birth provoked these questions within Nicodemus. The necessity of being born again struck him like a lightning bolt out of heaven. These words were a stinging rebuke of his own complete lack of personal ability to enter the kingdom of God. As he stood, his sinful life bared him from any entrance into the kingdom. If he was to gain admission, he must have a new start with God. Simply put, he must be born again. In a state of confusion, Nicodemus responded, how can a man be born when he is old? He cannot enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Saying this, Nicodemus did not take Jesus' words to mean that he must literally re-enter his mother's womb. He did not think that he must be physically born a second time. He knew, he knew that was not the intent of Jesus' words. Rather, he rightly surmised that Jesus was speaking metamorphosally. Meta metamorphosely i do not know what that word is i'm going to show it to y'all it's um metamorphosely <laughs> i don't know how to say that word but it's okay barring the same birthing analogy nicodemus meant what do you expect me to do i cannot crawl back into my mother's room womb how would i start over put another way he was asking please tell me how do i start over with god this was spoken with a note of sincere and queerty. Nicodemus was asking, what are you trying to say to me? What are you talking about? How can I see the kingdom of God? So I really want you to think about that today. And Nicodemus keeps saying, I can't be born again. I can't go into mother's womb again. So how is this possible? So I want you to think today, how can Nicodemus be born again with Jesus and start over with him? I hope you really enjoyed this video and got a lot of thoughts from this. And think about that question. How can Nicodemus be born again?